In this video tutorial, we accomplished the bench mission from the first LEGO League 2020 competition. For this, we use LEGO Education Spike Prime robot and an attachment and robot that are built only from parts that are in the set. The goal of the mission is to put these four boxes in the specific place in the mission model and to take back part of the bench to base. Now this 10 out of 10 tutorial is a little bit different than the others, which means that in this tutorial we actually don't accomplish the mission 10 out of 10 times. What we decided to do is to show you one of the first versions of this attachment that we built to accomplish this mission model. Later, we built a really good attachment that works in a similar way and because it works in a similar way, it's uh, quite close to what you see here and it's for the robot inventor, LEGO Mindstorms robot inventor. We will provide a link in the tutorial for the other tutorial where the attachment already works. But what what our idea here was to demonstrate all the different ways in which an attachment probably does not work. Like, you see, we push on the bench and now we can't lift part of the bench, we can't move forward. Then we do another try. We push and it locks and it leaves the attachment in a bad state. Again, mission failed. Then we move again. The basic idea is to move push with the lever and return the, the part of the bench back to base. But we can't grab it. How does it work? Like this. And then we lower the four boxes. So this is a perfect run that you just saw. But it's very difficult because the whole attachment is quite complex. You must push, you must, you must li uh, lift, then you must drop certain parts at specific place and it's a, it's a difficult mission with a difficult attachment, complex attachment. How we build such attachments? It takes us a few iterations. So even though we, you see a lot of the end results in the tutorials of all the different attachments that are working 10 out of 10, what, what you would like you to know is that this is something that requires a lot of work so you must really invest in getting an attachment that works in a repeatable stable fashion and be able to compete on a competition with an attachment so it takes work it might seem easy all the ideas that we are sharing and i hope they are easy and clear but it gets some time to to make it happen and that's part of, part of the thrill part of the excitement of the competition how do you how do you get an attachment that works 10 out of 10 or even 8 out of 10 times? Let's try again. We move, push, align, drop. And you see, some of the boxes we were able to drop them in place, others we weren't. And again, we've improved this attachment. You can see it in the other video uh, that we've linked in the description and uh, there it works quite well but here for this mechanism because it, it includes some rubber bands and rubber bands they are not very uh, they are difficult to work with and alignment is difficult with this uh, attachment and the mission it was it was quite a challenge it was quite a challenge it was very fun nine successful runs let's see if we can make 10 no 9.5 8.5 not great not terrible this attachment works at about 50 percent of the cases so this is how an attachment that works 50 percent of the cases look like 